Welcome to this video on formatting dashboards and dashboard layouts. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. This video is on formatting a standard dashboard. For information on designing dashboards for specific devices, check out the Device Designer video. By default, views and legends pull out as tiled dashboard objects. When we bring out a sheet, the gray drop area covers a region of the screen. What we're seeing here is tiled behavior. If we click at the bottom where it says floating, we can change it to a floating behavior. Notice how the gray drop area indicator looks different, and if we let go, this view and all its legends and filters will come out on top of the view underneath. We can then freeform adjust size and location. Tiled layouts automatically fill the entire space, but floating objects can have custom size and position. Let's float the color legend for the map. If we hold down the Shift key and click and drag, this object will now float. We can overlay it on top of the map. With the legend selected, if we click the Layout tab, we're brought to controls for this element. We can make precise adjustments for position and size. Good titles are important for effective communication. If we double click on a title, we can edit it. The default is the sheet name, but we can replace that with whatever we want. A good trick is to insert a dynamic value in the view's title. If we click Insert, we'll get a list of things that can be put in the title. This depends on what fields are in use in the view. Here, we see that Ship Mode is an option. Let's rename this Average Cost 4, then insert Ship Mode, and follow up with Shipping. Now as we play with that Ship Mode filter, we see the title dynamically change. Just as we can modify the title for a view, we can format titles in the dashboard as a whole by going to the Format menu and selecting Dashboard. The Format pane opens over the Dashboard pane, and we see options for shading, font, alignment. One thing to note is that if we change the shading, say to light blue, only dashboard items are shaded. Views have their own formatting. To make the entire display pale blue, we'd need to go to each view on the dashboard and format their shading. Right-click in a view and select Format. If we go to Shading and pick the same color, we see that the view we had selected now matches the rest of the dashboard. But let's undo this. We can also control all the fonts in the entire workbook at once. Click the Format menu and select Workbook. We can now control each of the elements on a workbook-wide basis. We can say, increase the worksheet font size to 10. For more information, see the videos on formatting. Images can be added to dashboards simply by dragging out the image object and navigating to the location of the image. By going to the menu, we can fit the image, center it, and even turn it into a hyperlink by adding a URL. If we want to add a web page to our dashboard, we simply bring out the web page part. We can drop it here at the bottom. For the URL, I'll put in tableau.com. Simply dragging on the top lets us resize this. And it's still fully interactive, just like in a browser. Notice that the logo resized dynamically as we adjusted the layout, because we chose to fit the size. However, if we wanted to move the logo over to the left, there's no left align option, just centering. Instead, we can bring out a blank object to the right and adjust it until the logo is where we want it to be. This is, of course, redundant with the web page. Layout containers are a great way to control placement on a dashboard. Here, where we have a tiled layout, note that if we click to a specific ship mode, 
The bar chart is a static size, but more or fewer bars are squeezed into the same area. Let's go to a blank dashboard and bring out a vertical layout container. We'll bring out running total and shipping cost below it. We'll click on the header for average shipping cost and bring out the filter for ship mode. Now let's see how layout containers handle the resizing of these bars. When we're filtered to all modes, running total is pretty small up there at the top. But as we deselect ship modes, the bar chart collapses and the running total chart automatically fills that space. As we select more or fewer modes, the sizes automatically adjust. Layout containers can be a powerful way to control how a dashboard is laid out. For more information on working with layout containers, check out the online help. Thank you for watching this dashboard training video. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.